New at six, a more than $2 billion plan would get rid of nearly a third of LG&E and KU's old generation systems. WDRB's Christy Batista tells us how you can give your opinion before the state gives the go-ahead. Mill Creek is just one of the stations that could start seeing some changes, and it's all in an effort to become more energy efficient. It was first proposed in December. LG&E and KU wants to get rid of nearly a third of its older coal-fired generating units, like some here at Mill Creek, and build two natural gas plants similar to its Cane Run station, plus solar generation and a battery storage facility. It really just makes sense to kind of turn toward the future when we look to what we need to do to power our customers' energy demands um, as we move forward. It would cost more than $2 billion, but would create one of Kentucky's largest portfolios of energy efficiency for customers. We put a lot of th time, thought, and analysis into the plans that we put forward, and they are the lowest reasonable cost for being able to meet our customers' energy demands. So would that large price tag meet an increase in your electric bill? In the short term, LG&E says not until the next scheduled increase. The cost associated with these units will ultimately bear out over the life of the units, which is 30 to 40 years, but we wouldn't see that incorporated into um, rates until the next rate case, which is not scheduled or planned at this time. In 2021, during the last rate case, a deal was reached to prevent the utilities from implementing another price increase until mid-2025. If it's approved, the new replacement generation would be online between 2026 and 2028, but the company wants to hear from you first. You can give your input at meetings that start next week. We have the details on our website, WDRB.com. Reporting with photojournalist Jeff Gordon, Christy Batista, WDRB News.